against this man, the challenger, Tony Tubbs, a man with past hands and feet who split two amateur bouts with Greg Payne. Tubbs, an unbeaten top 10 contender with a knockout punch, 15 KOs to his credit. Also, Tim Witherspoon, seen here in the crowd affair against Larry Holmes, losing that controversial decision in a world championship bout. Meets James Broadax Broad, defending his North American Boxing Federation heavyweight crowd. Broad has won 17 of 18 pro fights. Also tonight, the exciting Hector Macho Camacho in the ring against Rocky Montoya. And time permitting, highlights of the recent Larry Holmes, David Bay, IBF world title fight in Las Vegas. It's all coming up on the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. Sponsored by Miller Beer. Miller made the American way since 1855. And by Diet Pepsi, the one calorie choice of a new generation. And by Honda Power Equipment, lawn mowers, lawn tractors, made easy and made to last. And welcome to the Memorial Auditorium in Buffalo, hosting its first world heavyweight title fight in 35 years. Hi, everybody. I'm Don Chevrier. And again, welcome to what should be an outstanding night of boxing. 39 scheduled rounds involving heavyweights and some great lightweights. Of course, the main attraction is the WBA Heavyweight Championship defense by Greg Page against Tony Tubbs. Also, James Broad against Tim Witherspoon trying to bounce back from his loss to Pinklin Thomas that cost him the WBC Championship recently. Then the exciting Hector Macho Camacho against Rocky Montoya, a good lightweight bout. We're going to show you mainly boxing tonight. No other frills or features. We're here to give it to you and hope you'll enjoy it as the evening goes on for the next three hours from the auditorium here in Buffalo. I want to acknowledge the people working with me tonight, the veteran fight trainer who handled Muhammad Ali over the years so well, Angelo Dundee, and of course a former great runaway champion, Carlos Palomino. Welcome, gentlemen. We've got some good boxing coming up for you here at the auditorium in Buffalo tonight. And now with us... The North American Boxing Federation, Jean Guy Prescott, supervisor in charge, and by the New York State Athletic Commission, the former light heavyweight champion of the world, Jose Torres, chairman. The physicians in attendance of inside this evening, chief physician Dr. Evan Evans and Dr. Joe Morola. The judges, Billy Graham, Don Ackerman, and Jack Milosic. The timekeeper of the bell is Bob Olson. Counting for the lockdown seconds, alternate referee Luis Rivera. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 12 round North American Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Championship is Dr. is referee Frank Adams. And our boxing fans, introducing the principals. First in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He tipped in at an even 222 pounds. This gentleman has a record of 18 wins, two losses with 12 knockouts. The former World Boxing Council heavyweight champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the challenger, Terrible Tim Wilson. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. He weighed in at an even 261 pounds. This young man has a record of 17 wins, one loss, with 12 10 knockouts. A native of Greensboro, North Carolina. And now he's on the Atlantic City, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current North American Boxing Federation heavyweight champion. James Relax Rob! Rob! Okay, fellas, we went through the instructions in the dressing room previous to this. I just want to remind you, I want you to watch your low blows, watch your head butts, and when you're tied up, I'm going to tell you to break. I want you to take one step backwards. You got any questions at all? All right, take hands now, come out, fight. So we are 
are set to go. Witherspoon and Broad, both 27. Similar in height, but very dissimilar in weight. Witherspoon figures to be a lot faster, 40 pounds lighter than Broad. But Broad's got a five-inch reach advantage over his man. Witherspoon has lost just two fights. One was to Larry Holm. You saw a brief highlight of that at the outset of the show. And he certainly acquitted himself well. Here's Broad now coming out and lunging back from the first attempt at punch thrown by Tim Witherspoon. Nobody, nobody should go out and buy a hot dog because both these guys are going to start throwing bombs early on. Oddly enough, Broad is, is the guy that's readier. Witherspoon isn't sweating a drop. You know, and he gets a no-no in the first round. It's true. I, I, I was... He stand there in a the corner. He has uh, no perspiration. Like uh, he didn't warm up at all. Uh, he could be caught, you know, stiff right now, and uh, he could go out. Well, he is a big man and fights a uh, mighty wall. No question about that. Witherspoon's got to fight that kind of a fight, an outside type of a fight. Don't fall in because Brawl's got vicious uppercuts with either hand, and I seen him take guys out with that punch. You know, and with Broad, light's not right. He's a big guy, and he likes to be bigger because first time he weighed light, he got licked with Marvin Fraser. He was big as an amateur, weighed 215 back then. As we said, 261 coming to this Buffalo Memorial Auditorium ring tonight to meet Tim Witherspoon. That is definitely big, <laughs> 261. But he is the defending North American Boxing Federation heavyweight champion. Witherspoon trying to box him. Big smile on the face of Broad now as he grins at his opponent. Early on, I noticed this ring, Carlos, it bounces. There's a couple of loose spots in the ring. Snapping right thrown by Witherspoon, not connected. That's not comfortable too, for fighters when the ring is uh, loose and it bounces like that. Yeah, both the right corner and left corner bounce. You notice when they go in there, it'll be like a little trampoline. 20-foot inside ring measurement here, but very shallow ring apron. Danger there is those camera guys. If somebody gets asleep and goes and gets excited and leaves his camera on the outside, fighter can step on it and really twist an ankle. The big pounder and the smaller boxer in the ring here in the first bout tonight. North American Boxing Federation heavyweight title on the line. And with the white trunks, Tim Witherspoon. Lost to Thomas and Holmes. A couple of good ones. The only blemishes on his career. Would you ever dream you called 222 a small guy? <laughs> Everything's relative, right? That is incredible. He sure looks small next to him, doesn't he? The final 15 seconds underway here in this first round. It is scheduled for 12 in Buffalo. Fairly uneventful first round, as you have seen, but Witherspoon, with his quicker hands, has been able to land blows. Time winds down now in round one. When you're looking for the best in life, you know you've got it right here. There's still a place where the grain is rich, the water's pure, beer is beer, and the brand is Miller. Miller's made the American way. Born and brewed in the USA, just as proud as the people who are drinking it today. Miller Beer, purity you can see, quality you can taste. Miller's made the American way. Setting off to find America. Gonna take my own sweet time to find America. Coda Color VR Films. Capturing America in all its glorious colors. And everywhere I see people smiling back at me. So glad to be in America. Kodak Film, because time goes by. Round two is underway here in Buffalo. Tim Witherspoon, White Trucks on the right. Big James Broad weighing 161. Or 261. Witherspoon looks 161 next to him. Witherspoon's got to fight this kind of a fight all night long, Carlos. He cannot gamble. He's got to be cute, smart, box, stiff left hand. Don't fall in. Those wide shots allow to get nailed an uppercut. Exactly. You know, this is the most controlled I've seen him. He's very controlled there. He's boxing a very smart fight up to this point. He's, like you say, he's giving him a little motion and using his jab and getting in and getting out. That, that's exactly what he has to do. 
this fight goes any type of a distance, which it may go the way it looks right now, uh, we're going to have a little embarrassment because those velvet trunks are going to get saturated with sweat, and I think they're going to do a little drop job. <laughs> we'll wait and watch for that. <laughs> but in terms of obvious extra weight, the 12 rounds would not benefit Broad, I wouldn't think. They did go the distance. Well, he's got plenty of weight to lose. We'll put it that way. <laughs> He'll be down but to 240 by the end of it. You're dead right. <laughs> Witherspoon, the left shot to the body. But you're right. Witherspoon looks like he's got all night. He'll take his time. Rod, of course, looking to land that big one. The smile seldom leaves his face. Chopping right hand thrown by Witherspoon. Now the left and the right by Witherspoon. Most telling balls he has landed thus far. Witherspoon can't fall in like that, Carlos, because if he falls in, this guy's going to go right up the middle with an uppercut. And that's what he can't afford to do. He's got to box, be smart, don't fall in. And he's doing that. It's like he's uh, hearing your instructions. <laughs> oh, another punching right He's hurt. He's hurt. He's got it. He's hurt. Hands to the body, a left to the head. He's on the ropes. Rod looking very, very wobbly right now. Trying to hang out as best he can. Another chopping right. Hammering right hand. The left by Witherspoon. He's all over Rod. It looks like the party's over. It is all over. over. Oh, oh. Turn over. out the light. Oh, it's got, what is Come this? on, let's stop it. Stop right it. Now. Stop it. A vicious attack wins it for Witherspoon. It's all over. Why the referees, in this case, bother even pouting Angelo's beyond me? This is obviously the end of the fight. Why? Witherspoon, a happy man now that it's official with his entourage dancing in the center of this Buffalo ring. But what a furious assault he unloaded on big James Brown. All 261 pounds. Hitting that canvas like thunder. He nailed him that shot. The way he wobbled back, I knew it was all over. You knew it was all over, right, Carlos? He was. Uh, his eyes went out from under him. It was all over. Yeah, exactly. I got a little excited. I, you know, I think the referee should have stepped in there. Oh, definitely. Right. But instead, he continued with a count, and here is how it happened. Here's where he's hurt. Right there. Right now there. he goes to the ropes, and he's almost defenseless. Four, that missed. Five. Now that six, fight should have been right stopped there, right there. A dozen blows right there. The no more. Adams looking in, but he took it to the limit. He waited for him to He's out to go there. Down. Yep. Yeah, Watch him slide. Like, no, reason. Right there. no reason. Now Bad referee. Too many, too many shots. Yep, he was totally defenseless there. And then he let him go down and take the full count before finally waving that it was all over. Yeah, but what's good about the doctors were walking in during the count. So you got to give him credit. The doctors knew the guy was out of there. Exactly. They stepped in. They were, they were yelling for the ref to stop the fight. As most people in this auditorium were. You know, it looked to me like Tim Willispoon learned from that experience against Larry Holmes because after he hurt him, he took his time and he, and he took under control and, and he got him out of there. He, he didn't get too wild and crazy uh, after he hurt uh, Braun. I thought he might have stung him very early in the round with a spoon, and then he laid off for a few seconds and finally came on with the onslaught that, as you saw, has resulted in the end of the bout of the second round. What a performance by Tim Witherspoon. I'll tell you, the people like it. We've got a, a great crowd, and uh, they're loving it. A broad is... Uh, Standing in his corner, obviously all right after it all. But Ed Darien's got the exact time now, the ring announcer at the end of the bout. Give me five. Give me five, Carl. Right, right. We back, baby. We back. Give it up. We all the way back. We got it back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of this bout, two minutes, 35 seconds of the second round, and a winner by a knockout, and the new Mid-Memory.